Hey guys, it's Gretchen of GretasJunkier.com. Today, I'm gonna be doing my everyday makeup look. This is the makeup look that I do every day inside the car on the way to work. I start to do my makeup so that when I get to the office, I don't have to do it there anymore. These are the products that are very convenient to carry in my bag, but at the same time, apply when I'm in a moving car. So to start things off, I like to use Glossier's CoconutBalm.com. For one, I love the scent. I use this to moisturize my lips. What I like about this universal balm is that I can also use it on dry skin. So sometimes whenever I get allergies and I start to blow my nose and the skin here around my nose gets dried up, I just put a little bit of this on the affected areas and it's a way to moisturize my skin already. Another instance that I like to use this is when my hands get dry. Sometimes, I don't know, I guess because of the air cut in the car or in the office, my hands tend to get dry. Now that I've moisturized my lips, I move on to my eyes. Eyebrows. I've been loving Glossy's Boy Brow. This is in the shade Brown. So what's nice about this is if you're blessed with relatively thick eyebrows, it just helps to fill up the sparse areas at the same time hold your brows in place. The brush is really tiny so it's easy to just apply it straight on your eyebrows. Like you don't have to be an expert. I start from the end. This way, you're coating the hair of your brows on both sides. And I also like to start from the tail because that's where I want the shade to be darker before I move towards the middle. If I want to achieve the feathery eyebrows look, this is the perfect product to use. Now that I'm done with my eyebrows, I move on next to my eyelashes. What I do is I take my Shuemura eyelash curler. My technique is because I have naturally long eyelashes that are straight, I curl it in three sections, starting from the base, the area that's closest to my eyelid, and then the middle section, and then the tip. So that way, the curl doesn't look like a letter L. It's more like a natural curl, and that's what you want to achieve. Just be careful that your eyelid doesn't get caught in between the eyelash curler because I've done that and it really hurts. What I do is I hold this for maybe 10 seconds, that way the curl lasts. So this is how it looks like without mascara yet. You just do the same thing on the other side. So now that I've curled my eyelashes, I move on to the next step, which is the mascara. And this is my holy grail, L'Oreal's Lash Paradise Mascara. It's the only mascara I've tried that doesn't give me panda eyes, that lasts the whole day, that maintains the curl, and that gives my lashes volume. So it's everything that you want in a mascara and for only 500 pesos. My technique in applying mascara, I actually take the wand first, then I blot the excess on tissue. So this way, the excess doesn't really clump because sometimes that's what happens with mascara, right? When there's excess, the clumps end up staying on your lashes. That's how you start getting panda eyes at the end of the day. Once I've blotted it with tissue paper just a little, I start it again from the very base. I make sure that I wiggle it closest to my lash line as possible. Moving on to my cheeks, I normally choose between two shades, Glossier's Cloud Paint and Beam or Glossier's Cloud Paint and Storm. The difference between the two is that Beam sort of gives me that sun-kissed look, while Storm gives a more drunk blush kind of look. Depending on my mood of the day, that's where I sort of choose which shade to go for. For today, I think I want to go with Beam. So what I do is I just squeeze out a little bit of the product. It's gel type. It's very easy to blend. I apply it here first. You don't want to directly apply it on your cheeks. That way it doesn't look patchy. I focus the color on the apples of my cheeks. So lastly, for my lipstick or my lip tint, I just tend to match it with my cheeks to give me a monochromatic look. For Cloud Paint and Beam, I like using K Palette's Lasting Lip Tint in the shade 02 because it's on the peachier side. But if I'm going to use Cloud Paint and Storm, I would pair it with the shade 03 because it's on the rosier side. So it really depends. But then again, I mix and match it as well. But since I used Beam, I'll show you guys how the lip tint and zero two looks like. So that's how I do my everyday makeup look in the car. It's really easy to do. It's very fast. I can finish this in maybe like five minutes or less. I'll see you guys in my next video.